Hello, hello, everyone. This is Renee with uh, Stampin' Up! Independent uh, Demonstrator. And as you can see here, we're going to be doing some Yeti to party. You've seen uh, some other videos from me in the previous um, weeks about the Yeti to party. I showed a whole bunch of them. And uh, it's a great set. And um, so this is the set that I use for this card that I'm going to call the Tent Topper card. That's what we're going to call that. And basically, this is how they look. All right. And so um, without further uh, ado, I'm going to go ahead and remove myself. And here we go. <laughs> All right. So I want to make sure you see that better. So here that is. Here's that tent topper card. All right. And here I just use the designer paper. Sometimes you want to have a few more layers. And in the directions here that I'll go over, I'll show you those extra layers and how that changes that up. These are great fun cards. I think very easy and you can spruce these up or simplify these fairly easily. And I think my next version will be a, a, a simpler version. So that's the tent card. We're going to be using the Yeti to party. The Yeti to party now on September 1st, unless you're a demo, um, you can buy these dies that come with this set. So uh, they are simply called the Yeti dies. So if you got the Yeti stamp set, then you'll have to buy it separately. Otherwise, if you haven't gotten that yet, you can get it as a bundle for 10% off. It literally cuts out everything except for the sentiments. It cuts out everything. And on top of it, it has a piece that will cut a slit. This just cuts a slit so you can put something in the yeti's hand you can kind of slide it in like a coffee cup or a heart or an ice cream cone so it just makes a slit right at the hand all right so um and so you can do that after you make the yeti and then it has a window it has a scarf on top it does the mountain tops uh, uh for you and um that's it and it it cuts out everything including the bird all right, so what I did, just to show you this new trick with this, well, this kind of trick that I figured out. <laughs> so what I did is, and I'm just showing you this for, for I used some old designer paper because uh, it was handy, but I went ahead and cut out this designer, piece of designer paper that I had. It's about four and three quarters or five wide, okay, by six long, pretty sure it's the six long. Yeah, it's the six inches long. And what I did is literally I put the ink right on top of all of these as they sit here on our um, in our case exactly that way. Then I went ahead and took the paper after I put the ink down. I went and took the paper and I put it down. OK. And I put it down. And because of that, you will get the tree in the mountain, and you'll see that uh, in just a second. But once I did that, then in two swipes, I was able to cut out everything. So that was so fun doing that. Very simple. To wash these off, all I did is I removed the paper from the top here. All I did was remove this paper from the top. And I just rinse it out with water and let it dry and then put it back in. And there you go. You're all set to go. So that was so fun doing that. And I'm going to show you um, what I did. And so in two swipes, I was able to cut all of this out. Plus, I did an extra tree. This means that if you don't have to have the tree there, you can take it out and put it somewhere else so it comes out somewhere else on the sheet. Uh, that is the only thing. But here you have the bird, everything, everything is set for you.
two passes. Isn't that cool? On my blog, if you go to Renee's Paper Crafts blog on Blogger, you will find out uh, I took pictures so that you can see exactly how I did it in the two steps and shows you how I taped it down and went ahead and passed it through just twice to get all of those fun, fun dies. So that's a wonderful thing. So for this uh, card, I will be uh, using the adhesive backed sequins and gems. These are just lovely. All right. And so there you go. There it is. <clears throat> and then I use the layering diorama dies, which I absolutely love. And I used the second and third from the smallest okay so the first smallest then i use the second smallest to the third smallest that's how i went through okay just like that okay so i used that then i went ahead and i did use the new timber 3d embossing folder it is a very nice um it, it produces a very nice subdued uh, background. It is 3D, but uh, it, it's a wonderful background. Uh, not as um, strong, I should say, but but definitely strong enough. It's, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So I use the 3D embossing folder. <clears throat> I use the real red and white glimmer paper which you can stamp on. And I stamped the Bermuda Bay on the white, all right? And I simply stamped the memento on the black, on the red, and uh, so that the present was cut out and the Yeti was cut out. And the ink lasts, it's great. It's been uh, sitting there for days. So I didn't know that you really could, it would work that we could actually stamp this glimmer paper, but this glimmer paper is great. And in that mini, uh, I would definitely think about getting that for sure for the holiday. This is, I did use our silver and gold specialty paper, which is a freebie um, from the uh, celebration catalog. And we only have about nine days left for that. So you might wanna go ahead and do that. So uh, anyway, you're going to need um, <clears throat> at least uh, minimally, you need um, a cardstock base all right, and I'm just going to show you this. This would be then this cardstock base, which was, I believe, Calypso Coral. And then you would need your designer paper and some white. And of course, the white I used for the label here. Um, and I used some cardstock white for the inside because this was dark. And um, I used some cardstock white to stamp here to die cut this piece. You don't have to be as elaborate. I stamped and die cut that on cardstock white. So you will need some scraps of cardstock white maybe, but definitely a four by four and some cardstock white for a label. Here again, um, I did use the label cardstock white. It does come in handy. I could have done it on the Yeti. I didn't, but I could have. So typically I did do the label that way. Here you'll see the ribbon. I discuss in my directions on my blog about the ribbon. We wrapped it around and then we tied the bow on top. So we wrap it and tape it on the back and then go ahead and tie the bow right on top. So that if I pulled that, that could come right off. And the other method is using designer paper, which is anywhere from three quarters inch to a quarter uh, to a inch, depending on what you prefer. You can even go thinner. So really it's a half an inch to an inch. You can decide of that. And then I start layering these pieces on top, just like here, okay? So, um, and oh yes and then so if you decide that you want for example here i had white card base then i used a pink card stock and then i used the designer paper so if you're going to use that designer paper that card stock right here that pink is a four by four and then this would be three and three quarters by three and three quarters if framing that's what that means okay so you can see here <clears throat> what we have 
<clears throat> the way we cut the card. Okay, so that was all the materials. So the way you cut the card, and I just want to show you that, um, is you take the 11 inch side and you cut through at four and a quarter. Okay, I used that piece. You cut by four and a quarter. And so you get two of them and then you get a nice piece left over that is about three and a half inches, if I'm correct. Three and a quarter inches is what you have left. A nice piece that could be used as a topper. All right instead of what I use. And I'll show you that in a second. But I just cut this at four and a quarter and then score the eight and a half side at four and a quarter. And so that's where you have the four and a quarter by eight and a half score at four and a quarter. So that's all that is. And you can get two cards out of that and you can get two toppers out of that. Plus you, with that extra, you can get your labels or some other items that you might want. So that's always handy. I am using uh, Coastal Cabana here. Uh, the ink was um, Bermuda Bay um, and uh, that came out better on the Yeti in the Bermuda Bay than in the Coastal Cabana. Seemed a little light. Okay. So I stamped on him and then I didn't have the dies yet. So I fussy cut, but otherwise I'd use the dies and I stamped on the glimmer paper, as I said, in memento and then cut it out by hand. And you can see, I use those fun little gemstones as my top pieces. All right. So once that is cut, I am not going to do, um, a piece of white and then this on top. There was no need. So I am going to use that designer paper from the Celebrations catalog. And that is the four by four. So this ends up to be a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And so I'm going to take my glue and I'm simply going to glue this on the front. I have mentioned in the past that putting the glue here sometimes is helpful. Um, it allows it to slide more, but um, that's okay. And this is my top. So it's going to open this way like a tent, like a little tent when we were kids and we did it in our backyards, those simple tents. And all I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this down, making sure that my corners are even by looking here and here. And if those are even, then I'm straight. <clears throat> so there, that's how that works. <clears throat> then um, I did die cut out, um, as I said, um, second, third, this would be the third to the largest, and this would be the second to the largest. So all I did is cut out this. Now okay. this, the way the topper works, and this topper is about three um, and... Um, three eighths, almost a quarter. So you can go that much. You could go a little bit more. As I say, the maximum of this would be a three and a half. And the max here, now this is only the, the widest is about two and a quarter, but you can go to about three and a quarter, I believe is what I put down. You can go quite a bit um, so if I have those pieces, where did I just, that's all right. So anyway, so that's fine. Um, so I did put it in my blog, the exact dimensions of that, all right, that you could use. And of course, as I said before, that could be the topper as well uh, from the extra card stock. All right. So, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure what I want is I want to make sure that this can go as high as five and a half. Okay. So I can go pretty high. I just want to make sure that I don't go beyond five and a half here. So that's how tall that can be. All right. And so I'm just going to put the glue right down here at the bottom. 
and then I'm going to put it higher because I know I can come down. I put it higher because I know I want to slide it down here. And I want it to go, I want the highest point to be about there. That's good. That's good. Make sure it's center as well. And there's that piece like that. Then I cut out another one. What I decided is I would layer and have some fun. So I'm going to layer that on there and kind of glue that like that. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm just, I don't need it really. Um, let me see here. I want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe do it that way, maybe. No, I think I want to do it this way. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to glue a little bit the top part here. As you see, I went ahead and used that embossing folder. Just offset it a little bit. They're both the same exact size. I just wanted to offset it a little bit. You see, I stamped the little uh, presents <coughs> and bird. This is <clears throat> for those kids that have birthdays in November, December, January, or of a winter kind of birthday. And so then I'm just going to center that right there, as you can see, all right? Now, the strip, I said, can be anywhere from a half an inch wide. I used the timber also. I decided to use that. And this kind of goes across the bottom. Again, I could have used ribbon. If I would have used the ribbon, I would have gone ahead and put it here around and then taped it. So just taped it on the back side. And I would have done that. And then afterwards, tied the bow on. And I think I'll be able to show you that in a bit. And I'm just going to put it up here about a quarter of the way. Now, this strip is a half an inch by four. So it goes just with that DSP. <clears throat> My Yeti, I'm going to go ahead and put up on dimensionals. I will go ahead and do that. I will, I will, I would, excuse me, suggest that when you do this, when you do stamp these, that you stamp them and then leave it, walk away for a while or do something else at your desk and um, let it um, dry. I do think that's important with his hand. I want to make sure that that hand and leg are well supported. All right, so here we go. So these are the, you know, you can always mix up your dimensionals. You don't always have to use the same size everywhere. Not necessary. So if you have the two sizes, the two sizes work for about everything. They're a good batch of dimensionals. <clears throat> not too thick, not too thin. I think just right to make it nice. Okay, I think that's almost all. That's almost all. So then here is our Yeti, and I'm kind of putting him almost in the center. Just like that, just like that. <clears throat> I'm putting him pretty much in the center. Looks good. Then what I thought I would do is I'm going to have him kind of hold this little sign. I thought that was kind of cute. Now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to glue that on there. <clears throat> and I'm going to glue it at each of the ends because it's going to be in midair. So I'm going to glue it right there. I could put probably a dimensional in. 
like that, but you can see his hand. So there you go. There, it's your birthday. Isn't that cute like that? And then I'm going to have a little present here. I knew that. Oh, I lost my little gems. I put my gems up there. So I'm going to put that right there. There you go. I had a little bit too much glue. Put that there. It's just, I'll put those on in just a bit. <clears throat> and then, so you can see how to put those on anyway. So there. All right. And then I thought like this one could just be like this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same spot, just like that. As you can see, then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to lift this gem that I want. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that around, put that down. There you go. I got that on the scissors and I'm going to put that down. Probably should have gone the other way. He's giving me a hard time. There you go. Ah, there you go. <laughs> okay, Mr. Fussy. Maybe should get just another gem. Maybe he just doesn't want to be there. There you go. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Get Yeti to party. It's your birthday. Now, isn't that kind of a cute little simple card? Again, you know, what you want to do is you don't really um, <clears throat> need it to be uh, too big. Although I have seen people use um, quite a big size for the topper. You want to make sure that that is five and a half and no more because that's what's going to fit in a normal standard card. This, this topper was definitely three and a quarter. Three, you could go three and a half, but it's quite a bit. So that was three and a quarter on this one. And the up and down was about two and three quarters. Um, and probably two and three quarters is plenty. You could go to three maybe, um, but um, <clears throat> probably two and three quarters to three and a quarter would be the most, but that would be a big, that would be a big one. And this would be smaller. That's all. So that would work. I am sure. So this is the cut. This is it. All right, of course, a piece of white cardstock. This is where that white cardstock comes in. A piece of white cardstock would go right in here. And that is your four by four piece of white cardstock that goes on the inside. All right, so that's all she wrote. I think it's a fairly simple card. You just have to decide what you want. It could be a rectangle, a circle, whatever you have, a hexagon. I like the hexagon myself. So these are your cards right here that we have. All right. Um, these are the three. Sorry about that. These are the three that we have. Um, and so please, if you would like, click on that like for me, please. Also go into the description and see uh, my uh, blog. Uh, you can go to my blog to get the pictures of how I die cut everything and how I set it up. And then um, you can also get the dimensions written down there. And let's see what else. Yes, that would be it. All right. So um, I hope to see you soon again. You know that Monday nights I'm going to be doing my little uh, Facebook lives on my page 
uh, Renate's, uh, Renee's Paper Crafts Business is what it's called. And Monday nights are for kits. Tuesday is always a card. And there we go for the week. So come and join me and enjoy and learn how to make another card. That's all this is about, just teaching you how to make some fun, fun cards. Well, all right, now I'm going to say goodbye. I'm sure I talked enough. All right, um, enjoy, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.